G'day guys, I'm Ali. Today I'm going to be showing you three bath toys that I use in the bath to entertain my daughter. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want further DIY videos or mum tip videos. I post two videos a week. Let's get into the video. Supplies you will need for these sponge bombs. Colourful sponges, I'm using pink and blue, and also wool and scissors. You could also use dental floss or an elastic band to hold them together. My sponges were quite large, so I cut them in half, and then each half I cut into three pieces. Then I put one on top of the other, alternating the colours. So depending on what pattern of colours you want at the end, will depend what you do here. I then put the wool underneath and made it as tight as possible and did it into a double knot so it doesn't come undone. Then I cut off the excess wool and adjusted the sponges for how I wanted it and it's ready to go. Supplies to make these sponge boats. Sponges, I used varying colours, duct tape, a lollipop stick, so you could also use a paddle pop stick or a straw and a pair of scissors. I cut two triangles from the front of the sponge so it looks a bit more like a boat and then the sponge I cut at the bottom and at the top so that the mast can go through. And then I poke through the lollipop stick to make sure it worked. I decided to use duct tape so here I am sticking it to the lollipop stick. You could also use paper but for my 13 month old daughter the paper would have lasted 10 seconds and it would be wet and ruined so that's why I went with the duct tape. I cut off the excess duct tape and then it was ready to set sail. I also added some tape on the bottom so that she can't pull the sail out. And the last bath toy is balloon people. So I've got balloons, I've got wool for their hair and scissors, and then some Sharpies to draw their face on. So first I blew up the balloon to expand it, and then I twisted it at the top before putting over the tap. I then added a little bit of water so that it will float in the bath. I wanted this balloon to be bigger, so I just blew it up a little bit more before tying a knot into it. So here I am just drawing a big happy face and I wanted to have some really long hair so I've just got some orange wool and I'm just making some nice long hair and then tying it to the balloon. And finally I cut the loops in the wool so it was like hair. So guys let me know in the comments below which one of those three you like the best or what's your little one's favourite bath toy. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy my pool noodle hack, which is making building blocks. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Do you know what I've actually done this before? <laughs> That's what I'm really unsure what you're trying to do. <laughs>